I fancy doing something very stupid. I've been doing too much bug hunting and config editing and all the rest of the stuff. So I thought, what can I do just to have a little bit of fun? And I decided to see, is it possible to install Gen 2 on an NTFS file system? So let's give it a go. Let's run that CF disk. Let's just have SDA. Okay, that's all set up. So we'll change SDA2 to makefs.ntfs slash name root slash dev SDA2. Why are you not working? Is it our? There we go. Fifth time the charm. Let's make the screen that actually fit a little bit better. Alright, here we go. So that's that all done. Download our stage. Unload the arm stage and the AMD64 one. Let's not make it any more stupid than it already is. Let's make the desktop stage. Alright, first test, let's unpack A at stage 3. Okay, that does, no errors, excellent. We'll try and melt the Cedo file systems now. Looking good. Moment of truth. We're in. Let's try an emerge sync now. Okay. Let's get the uh, binary package working. And we can install the system now. So. Right, so that's that done. Uh, let's get some handy tools involved. Uh, we're going to want fast fetch, so you can check that I've got this working. Uh, I'm also going to want to install... Uh, don't use the um, minus everything flag normally. I'm only using it here because I know it works properly. It's not good advice. So. I want to install fast fetch. And I'm also going to need NTFS procs. Oh, NTFS 3G apparently. Looks golden. Alright, get grub installed. Grub installed slash dead. SDA. Excellent grub. Make config, output, boot, grub. Let's sort out the key maps because I always forget to do it and I always moan. We'll change the host name. I don't want any jokes about this on the comments section. It's to do with Peppa Pig, not what you're thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter. And I think that is everything. So let's shut down. So there's our first issue, it's trying to boot from the floppy. Hmm. Alright. Right, let's force it to SDA2. Uh-huh. Looks good, looks good. Right, he doesn't like that. I wonder if that is because of the kernel. Let's re-log in then, the live CD, and build our own kernel, see if it'll boot then. See you in a second. Okay, so we're back in the char root. Let's emerge the Gen2 sources. Forever! 
Forever! Forever! Forever! One eternity later. <laughs> and then make it big. Okay. Don't check file systems. Let's do both of those. Oh, probably need that. Do that as well. What if I need? Let's yeah, let's take that one off. Right, yeah, it's definitely that one I want. Okay. Exit. 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 Yes. Get more jewels in store. for us as well. Let's go to... I now do... Perfect. I can now shut this one down. And we'll watch it boot. Okay, that didn't work. Was it the right kernel I picked? Yes, it was. Let's try. Okay, I wonder if I do this without the init RAM. It works. Let's try that. Unable to mount the root FS. Wonder if that's because I haven't got AF stat for it. Let's take a look and we'll come back to this. Okay, so we're just gonna add this to the F config, see if it helps. But basically just forcing it to use the NTFS. NTFS S NTFS free. Let's try this. Okay, let's try this kernel first. No. Alright, let's try without the interim this time. Let's have another think about this. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I've figured this out. So, if we go to mount here, you can see we are mounted as NTFS. Everything is good. But, if we do an LS out slash. We can see there, there's no permission set on this, but if we checked Bash, Bash isn't set either, so we've got permissions not being loaded. Was that happened? Did that happen? But well, where did that happen, basically? I think we need to reboot into Cur um so, I fixed the issue with the system getting mounted, 
which was the original issue and now we can't boot because there's no permissions so we can't chain load into the init system oh, is that the driver that's causing the issue let's reboot into the live cd and have a quick check see what we see there check the melt here Right, we're using the fuse one here so maybe if that's working okay let's do mount uh, no let's do ls out slash bin no slash mount gen 2 slash bin slash bash see now we've got permissions there so, there's an issue with the driver. Maybe. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. Let's think. Try removing the Paragon driver. And so we're only using the other one. So I think then it will work. I'll also update the F stab Y on there. So we'll CD to here, we'll do the mounting. We've seen it before, we'll uh Okay, so we go C D user Password So we disable that one. We just have this. I like that. Let's try that. Let's now try rebooting into this. Let's see if Fuse is installed. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, see, Fuse isn't installed. Maybe that's why. Okay. I think that's it. Let's try now. See if this works. Let's go drastic. Please don't cancel me for what I'm about to do. I'm very sorry, but I want it to work. I want to show you that this could be possible. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them! Bring balance to the Force, not leave it in darkness! I'm very sorry. So, I feel dirty. We're moving Gen 2 for a thing he just feels wrong. Okay, we didn't melt this weave. The uh, pack strap. Okay, slash melt. We're in. How do you install it? Yay again. I do always find it funny that people tell me that you should use Arch Linux rather than Gen 2 so you don't have to compile. And the first thing you need to do to get an AUR helper to use AUR is compile a package. Almost as if you need to compile a lot on Arch Linux too. Hello, it's Jesus, your Holy Father in Heaven. And I have come to ask you a question. Why are you so salty? Oh. 
What are you a Similar include story now? happened to a teacher in the Florida area. It happened. You were correct. It's fact. Command failed to execute correctly. That's not good. Let's try India free. Roger. Right, pseudo Pac-Man. I think we just need to install Grovner. Let's reboot. Are oh, you going to work this time? Yeah. Let's see though if I could get it to work like this. NTFS slash options permissions UID. No. So Arch is even worse. Right, so I think it's time to call this one a failure. Can I do it? No. Can it be done? Yes, apparently it can. There are working examples on the internet. I just can't figure out how to make it work. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. So, if this does get people liking it, We'll say, if it gets 100 likes, I know you like it. I will try again, and I will get Gen 2 to boot. Somehow, it might be the most hacky thing I've ever done in my life, but I'll get it done. But for now, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to go and hang my head in shame and bleach myself for using this dirty Linux distribution. See you on the next one. Keep compiling, folks.